Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 13, 2022. If you like support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we rallied all the way up towards the 200 moving average, and then it fell apart. So it was looking really good until it got to the 200 moving average, and then it just fell. So at the current stage, we're down 0.30%, uh, and uh, this is not really looking very good for the NASDAQ. Uh, so there are a few things that are are affecting this market. Of course, uh, inflation is definitely uh, affecting this market, and so or this industry, I was supposed to say, but stock in general, uh, tech stocks in general are getting absolutely crushed. So expectation is that interest rates will uh, be aggressively hiked in 2022 due to the fact that inflation is just absolutely out of control at this current stage and that will definitely hit most of these tech stocks that i'm you can see everything's basically red and due to the fact that we got rejected here at the 200 moving average that is a uh, basically a sign that we are ready to basically go lower it doesn't have to be uh, tomorrow or or on Thursday or on Friday we could see um, stabilization here but a retest or a rejection of the 200 moving average yet again that will basically tumble this back down towards a 13k if you look at technical indicators we can see that MACD is bearish stochastic is still bearish in bearish territory but it's crossing the signal line and the RSI is also bearish but there's not a lot of room to the downside so if we do fall towards the lows here and then we'll get into oversold territory and we will most likely have a bounce after that. To the upside, if we manage to take out the 200 moving average, then we need to take out these two candlesticks are roughly 14.6k, uh, and then the 50 moving average all the way up here. Oh, sorry, the 200 moving average all the way up to here. So, yes, not a good sign getting rejected here at the 50 moving average. So, if you look at the S&P 500, very similar, broke above the 50 moving average, got close to the 200 moving average and then got heavily rejected. So if you look at technical indicators for the S&P 500, we can see that MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. We are basically informing of the shooting star here and that is not a very good sign. This looks like a market that is ready to tumble back towards roughly 4,150. To the upside, if we manage to take out the 200 moving average, then it's probably that will go towards uh, 4,630. So if you look at the Dow Jones, we can see Dow Jones right here. So Dow Jones, you can see very similar, rallied up towards the middle of the Bullinger Band at the simple uh, 20 moving average and then got rejected. And at this current stage, if we take out these uh, lows for today and tomorrow's session, then it's very likely that we'll drop towards the very lows. On the other hand, if we manage to take out the 200 moving average, then it looks like we are going to go higher, but everything is pointing to lower levels at this current stage. So MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI, and there's a lot of room to the downside here in the Dow. So if you look at the European markets, we can see that the DAX actually rallied. We are we are trading at yeah roughly down half a percent at this current stage. But this has been uh, a move that has been expected. It rallied up towards the 50 moving average, has re been rejected here several times, and is kind of just waiting for this market to pull back towards the very bottom here of 12.4k. If we manage to break above the 50, then the 200 moving average up here at 15.3k will come into play, but uh, that doesn't look like um, that is going to happen. If we manage even to get towards the 50 moving average, that will probably be a selling opportunity and people will basically just, uh, crush this to the downside. That doesn't mean that we'll drop tomorrow, but we will probably see a continuation of this move even lower. If you look at the MACD, it is still bearish. The stochastic is crossing the signal line at the moment, getting to be a little bit bullish, and the RSI is bearish indeed. If you look at the VIX, uh, so the VIX has basically been stabilizing here, uh, just above the 200 moving average. 
it fell in the beginning of this training session and then it rallied and and uh, if we manage to break above the 50 moving average then it's very likely that we'll go back up towards uh, 30 uh, uh, 34 or 35 give or take if we look at technical indicators they are all favoring the upside all are very bullish so it looks like we are getting ready for this market to uh, take off and that of course will be negative for stock stocks and indices if this starts to rally then these will start to fall and so will the indices and if this starts to break down then this starts to rally so we did have a really nice rally when the VIX hit roughly 36.5 all the way down towards 21.5 21 and now it looks like it's about to turn around if we look at the 10 year we can see that it has been rallying it went all the way up towards a, a 2.8 and hasn't been this high since oh, we have to scroll way way back uh, we have to go all the way back towards in 2019 to see the US Treasury 10 year to be at that level it has turned around and that is of course to be expected and most likely it will fall towards the uh, 20 uh, simple moving average down here at roughly 2.5 which is the middle of the bull in Japan because they also see that it is significantly overbought and technical needs are turning around so we may see some relief for indices when this happens but uh, we are in uptrend and as long as the uh, inflation continues to be um, this rapid then we will see interest rates uh, uh, increase slowly over time so hope you find this helpful you're willing to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much